tongue here. That question launched our next guest on a decade of trial and error that ultimately led her to take control of her career and carve out her own space. And she's a favorite. She's sharing everything she learned in her book, What Do You Need? And joining us now is the author and founder of Colorcom Corporation, Lauren Wesley Wilson. Good to see you, my friend. Hi, good to be here. And congratulations. Here. Thank you so much. It's been such a journey and very fulfilling. All right, so let's get to it. Let's start with this question here. You debunked the myth that you belong in every place that you take up. Explain that. All right. Well, so women in the workplace, we want we need a few things, right? Some basic things. We need to be valued, seen, respected, heard and understood and compensated. And not every place we inhibit, we belong. And we need to know if the place that we decide to work where we're at is a place that we're going to be able to grow and thrive, which starts with doing our research before we say yes to the job. Does this job share our values? Does it align with our mission? We really need to be asking ourselves that. I have a little story to share. When I graduated Georgetown University, my first job out of grad school, I said yes. I was like, you know, I'm excited. I'm going to get this job. And this job was not a job prime for my success. I didn't even know where I was working. I ended up working at a firm that didn't align with my political values. And back in 2009, everyone was on Twitter. I ended up getting into a little bit of a riff with a senior vice president on Twitter. The now, SVP. The SVP. Ooh. And I thought no one was going to watch. I thought it was just between me and him. I only had about five followers. When I got into the office the next day, it, everybody was talking about our conversation. I was embarrassed. But what I learned and getting fired through that job was that you really need to do your research before you decide to work in a place. A little bit like dating, you have to figure out if oh, you yeah. want to be involved with this place. So, oh. so you figure out you want to be there. What are some of the things that people need to look at specifically when they're choosing where they want to work? Look at the values. Look at that company's values. What do they value? What is a priority for that company? Do you have what they value? Oftentimes, if we have what they value, it makes us more valuable in the workplace. And you say there are three things that women need to be to be successful in uh, the workplace. You need to make yeah. a name for yourself, uh, build your network, and establish your value. Start with making a name for yourself. Okay. We all want to be celebrated for the good work that we do. So it starts with doing good work. Once we do good work, once we've been given kudos and celebration, how do the people in your company know about the work that you do? How are they celebrating your good work? So let's start there. Are you getting involved in organizations inside the company and outside the company to make a name for yourself? Build your network, which we talked about. Joining groups and organizations like Colorcom are so important, but there are other professional organizations to join. And really understand your value. This piece is important. Employees tend to overestimate their performance. We tend to think we're doing better than what we're doing. And so in the workplace, it's important to know how you contribute to workplace productivity, good or bad. There are two groups of employees. Do you drive the company forward? Are you meeting deadlines? Are you proactive? Are you taking the initiative? Or do you set the company back? Are you making excuses? Are you late with assignments? Are you quiet quitting? You have to understand what group you fall into, and that's going to better help you excel in the workplace. And that's a real reality, reality mm -hmm. check some people have to, to make for themselves, right? Yeah. You highlight empowerment through dialogue. Yes. So how does one do that? Well, it first starts with asking the question, what do you need? We need to be asking this question of ourselves, and we need to be asking this question of others. By asking the question, what do you need, we can better build community. We can learn about what our needs are because I believe that we all have something to give and to receive. And so we need to be thinking about moving communities forward by helping one another. Well, that was a lot of wisdom. Mm -hmm, it was. <laughs> Thank you, Lauren, so much for being here with us. And Lauren's book, What Do You Need? That very question we were just talking about is now available everywhere books are sold. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.